Hi, here's a quick guide to installing Sage 2012 accounts on your Windows PC. I've got the folder here on my desktop, same files as you'd see on your CD or if you download it from the web. I'm just going to go to the Start application and double click on it. Just then bring up the splash screen. Just wait for it to load. There's a few options on your left here, but what we're interested in is the install button. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. bring up the installer now and first of all we're going to be shown the license agreement um, you can read through it if you like but you have to press yes if you want to go ahead and install so we'll go ahead and press yes and we've got choice of standard or custom install um, for best practice we're going to use custom install there's only a few features that you can change um, mainly the destination folder um, so I'm going to browse make that 2012. So if you're installing multiple versions uh, they don't go on, on top of one another. And once that's done we'll click next. This is where you'd like it to be um, in the start menu. Um, put it wherever where you fancy. The default's fine and then there's just showing you. Um, okay so it's going to run install. Um, I've sped mine up a bit. Um, it can take 20-30 minutes. And once it's finished, that's all there is to it. Just go ahead and click finish. So you can close the splash screen. You should see an icon on your desktop. Uh, also on your start menu under programs, stage accounts. So I'm just going to go in for the first time and fire up the program. First of all, RSSV. This is just wondering to know if you want to know about the updates, not actually get the updates. So you don't have to take this. Um, but I just press yes anyway. Uh, now I'm going to punch in the serial key and activation key. You should have been provided these. Um, once they're in, it's registered. Okay, so you don't need the bottom two versions um, options even. Just go ahead, set up your company. And take the first option again if it's a new company. Um, the this location here is where the actual company data is going to be stored so if you want to back it up you want to make copies of that. Um, this here is just asking if you want to share the folder um, where, where the files are going to be kept. Um, I don't really need this but if you're going to be sharing across the network um, we could but you probably want to have it on the server. So this is all my company specifics. If you just co copy in your details here you've got your company name, your address, phone number, fax number, um, and then your business type. This sort of just makes Sage you know, a few reports specifically designed for what sort of company or business type you are. So I'm just going to go ahead with Solid Trader for the time being. Um, there's no additional settings for this, just how the actual program is laid out for you. And again, the financial year, just select whatever is applicable to you. And finally, your VAT details. Again, just select what makes them applicable to you and the same with your currency. It's just an overall um, summing up everything for you and again there's the data location of your company which is, which is what you'll need to back up. So it's going to go ahead and create the company now and we log in for the first time. Your login is always going to be manager for the, for the username and with no password for the first time you log on. Um, that will always be the case. So first of all it asks us about updates. Um, I'm going to press OK to this. Um, it will prompt me for the updates in just a second. Um, but what I'm going to do, here we go, I'm going to cancel those updates and just show you the manual way to do them. So if you just go to help uh, at the top right of your screen here and you press check for updates. Um, it's best to do this when you first install it. Um, as it keeps the program up to date, uh, make sure everything's working as it should. Just downloaded them, um, just let them install now as well. Patches can take a little time to apply, but I have to sped them up um, for the video purposes. So once that's finished, we can go ahead and uh, click finish. The Sage software updates box will eventually just disappear off your desktop. Um, then we can go back, launch into the program. You 
you don't want to start these options again if you've only got one company. Um, I mean, you, even if you had multiple companies, you don't want to show this. It's just an additional screen you're going to have to click through every time. So go ahead and log in again. Manage if you're using them with no password. These can actually be changed at a later date. And there we have it. Sage 2012 installed.